Our eighth female architect was Lillian Jeanette Rice, and she was born June 12, 1889, in National City, about 128 miles southeast of Los Angeles and approximately 10 miles from the Mexican border. Lillian's parents were Julius Augustus Rice, 1854-1933, and Laura A. Steele Rice, 1854-1939, and Lillian was descended on her father's side from an immigrant to the Massachusetts Bay Colony, Edmund Rice. In 1906, Lillian entered UC Berkeley and received, in 1910, a bachelor's degree in social science with a major in architecture. She was the third woman to receive such a degree at the university. Lillian stayed one more year and completed a course in teaching, but returned to National City following her graduation. There, she took care of her mother and initially worked in the office of architect Hazelwood Waterman from the second video in the series. Eventually, Lillian taught geometry and drawing at San Diego State Teachers College, now San Diego State University, and Russ High School, now San Diego High School. In 1921, Lillian was selected as the lead planner for Rancho Santa Fe in San Diego County at the firm of Requa and Jackson. She worked on this project during the years 1922 through 1927 and was responsible for a number of building designs at the development. A few of these are shown in the following six photos. However, there were other Lillian Rice structures at Rancho Santa Fe, and these included Claude and Florence Terwilliger House at 5880 San Alijo, George A.C. Christiancy House, 17078 El Mirador, and at Rancho Santa Fe, built in 1922 through 1924. Lillian Jeanette Rice House, 16780 La Gracia, Rancho Santa Fe Garden Club, built in 1937. Yet Lillian did other designs, and these included Fleet Rice Hoyt House, built 1936 through 1937, Martha Kinsey House at 1624 Ludington Lane, La Jolla, California, built 1936 through 1937, ZLAC Rowing Club, Clubhouse, Mission Bay, California, built in 1932. Lillian was president of this club during the years 1915 through 1916. Lillian worked mainly in the California Spanish colonial style, and this set the tone of her entire career. In 1927, Lillian received her architectural license and in 1928 opened her own firm. By 1931, she became a member of the American Institute of Architecture and was one of only a few women to do this at that time. Lillian J. Rice was quite an attractive woman, as you can see by the following photo. Yet she never married and left no offspring except her architectural designs. In 1938, Lillian Rice was found to have ovarian cancer, and by December 22 of the same year, she died from the disease at age 49, following an unsuccessful emergency operation. When she died, she was living at Rancho Santa Fe, though she was buried at La Vista Memorial Park in National City. Nevertheless, the headstone was vandalized, and the new stone incorrectly shows her birth date as one year earlier. Lillian would no doubt have created many more architectural designs for her life and not be cut short. However, many of her works still remain and provide a record of her creativity and her architectural acumen. The Lillian J. Rice Elementary School at 915 Fourth Avenue, Chula Vista, about three miles southeast of National City, is named in her honor, though I wouldn't be surprised to learn that many have no idea why it is so named. 
Hopefully they will run into this video or other writings about Lillian and learn just a little about this remarkable woman.